This is Ryan Payne filling in for Bob for this week's market update. And the animal spirits were alive and well on the street of dreams. On the week, the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 2.3%, the S&P 500 was up 2.4%, and the tech-heavy NASDAQ composite soared 3.3%. The S&P 500 is now up almost 18% for the year, while the NASDAQ 100 has climbed to a mind-blowing 43%. Folks, we're only halfway through the year. And Wall Street had a lot to cheer about this past week. On Wednesday, the Labor Department released the June Consumer Price Index. Headline and core inflation rose only 0.2% respectively, 3% year over year. Inflation is now down 6.1% in the last 12 months, marking the largest decline since 2009. Bottom line is since the direction of inflation is down, the direction of the stock market is up. It's really that simple, and it's a major reason the stock market has raced higher in 2023. The good news continued Friday as second quarter earnings season began with the banks, and it was a party. JP Morgan Chase posted record profits. Citigroup saw big revenue gains in credit cards, and Wells Fargo boosted forecasts for loan revenue. Bank loan defaults are still historically very, very low, showing no signs of skyrocketing. Another good sign for the consumer and invariably the economy. The Goldilocks scenario is alive and well as inflation pressures decline while the economy remains fairly robust, a pretty good backdrop for risk assets. If you're sitting and wondering, is my portfolio positioned for the current economic environment? Is my financial future secure? Well, here's your shot to find out. If you've saved over a million dollars for your retirement, simply call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692-844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PL-AN. NYC.